Hi there. So as we discussed already in our community in Discord and Instagram, uh, I would love to share like our thoughts on updating and uh, making better our instructions, our assembly instructions for our smart kit, uh, breadboards kit. And uh, I would love to see in the comments uh, from you guys who already assembled our kit and uh, the guys who just uh, uh, have seen what we've done and uh, please share your thoughts on how you want to, to make it better. Uh, so basically, yeah, we have like five boards like this and uh, modules uh, and wires. And uh, let me share uh, our ideas on how to make it better. So uh, first of all, we thought about uh, having a Lego as a kind of a reference for us because many people already uh, build something um, with their kids or when they were kids. and. Uh, it looked like many refer to Lego as a kind of a really nice instruction that helps uh, to build it quite fast and uh, see what's happening. So our like we have like uh, six main steps um, and like uh, we call it like six basic steps. But we like uh, we started we, like uh, we started counting them from zero. I'm not sure that's the best idea because some people may be confused who are not really programmers who get used to use zero as an index, uh, the first index in their in their array, or like it's very popular to count from zero. Uh, but anyway, like yeah, we'd love to 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 see your thoughts and comments. Yeah, we thought like the first one is uh, power, and uh, also we plan to have uh, this as a kind of uh, at least highlighting the boards that boards are used. So this card should uh, give the idea of what is inside the step. So here should be the picture of the this step itself when it's uh, assembled. Right now, it's just a placeholder with the final version. Um, but with the, we see it's something like you, you have it here, like the step power, what you're gonna get, and uh, the quick start, and so on. And here's like the small icon showing what boards would be used, what kind of one of them or all of them, and some kind of a short description of what's gonna happen on this uh, step. So, like we have power step, uh, quick start. Uh, terminal, uh, CPU, memory, and in, in our ports. And uh, so basically we call this second quick start because we think um, when you build something you want to have some kind of a quick result, something you can uh, see quite fast. And in our kit it's a uh, connection of uh, uh, keyboard and uh, display and showing something. I mean, and this step is just display, but I mean like uh, uh, and showing something on the screen, it's just some kind of a aha moment or a magic moment where you can see something already on the screen and uh, in our case by default it's Steve Jobs Garage, but you can customize this and we can also discuss this, discuss it in the next videos on personalization. Uh, but yeah, you can see something and uh, you, see, you see the result and you feel yourself maybe happy and uh, and uh, we thought about like uh, this like, kind of a number of uh, steps on wires you use some kind of a complexity um, figure showing like how long would it take to take the step but maybe just like some time estimate would be much more relevant to, to people because people uh, can't really maybe yeah from UX perspective it's hard to estimate what it's like 12 uh, wires to put them. Just maybe you need to just to write it down and uh, check how, how much does it take to, to build this. But so on this step we just uh, see something on the screen. The terminal is the second part so we use only the board number two and it uh, just uh, connects the keyboard and uh, uh, you can type something and see on the screen. Uh, in this case, maybe we need some kind of a uh, link to a video or a preview of what's happening. Maybe here we not need just not just some static picture, but maybe some kind of a, of uh, 
some kind of a, a gif or gif or that is just like loops here or there like showing what's basically done there maybe it's just that it's up to you to see it is, is it good or not the next uh, step uh, i would say it's uh, um, like the, the first like the, the bottom boards are devoted to uh, calculational part uh, CPU and memory and also like we can make a big line between the top and bottom because top is everything that is input output stuff and here's like uh, the last two boards is just to um, the, the actual part that do do the job and so like 6502 CPU here um, we do it on this board and uh, uh, we assemble it here and see how LEDs are blinking and uh, showing that yeah CPU is working it just like get some uh, some opcode operation code from from outside and executes this and this is uh, quite uh, substantial it's a substantial result in understanding how uh, this works and uh, how computers works and how computers work and how uh, your own computer gonna start to work. Uh, here we we work with, with memory, so it's like uh, read only memory and the random access memory, ROM and RAM, and uh, yeah, they basically provide instructions and save data uh, during the program's execution. And so we connect them using this address bus connector that we have in our kit. Uh, yeah, the last but not least. Uh, part is basically connecting uh, the top and the bottom uh, and it's all about in out ports and so because we need uh, the way for CPU to connect to all this uh, to display and keyboard and so this uh, four chips uh, we have here on the middle board uh, they're just uh, meant to <coughs> to decipher the address uh, from CPU in order to route it to the right uh, input or output device and uh, yeah and basically to store what was transmitted from video, uh, from keyboard uh, to CPU and save it in the register and the same vice versa when you like uh, go from CPU to try it to display and saves it and register that is it's a buffer for um, for display and also we have control signals that is Bit seven, we call it by bit seven for that is uh, helps uh, CPU to check whether the keyboard is ready or uh, whether display is ready and ready to take the new uh, the new new chart to to be written to be written this. So basically, we wanted like have some cards showing like the, the whole idea where you like what do you see uh, what we're gonna build and uh, like you can click and it's an actionable button saying like yeah let's go there. And uh, yeah, and also we thought about the bonus step for like really um, advanced uh, users uh, with the TV out, and it became quite popular, and many people started to, to actually build it and connecting it to different sorts of uh, TV-like uh, devices. Uh, you can check it on our Discord and on Instagram, and uh, yeah, and it's like we also thought about some cheers after the step like yeah you say you you got it you did it like you're like you're really successful and, you know, like cheers you can share it in, like in facebook or with some uh, infographics uh, on your results and uh, some nice uh some nice picture yeah maybe personalized with your name or something just like also just tell me is it cool or not just like how you want to see it like to keep you motivated during the process and regarding like the process itself uh, we thought about yeah so we need to have all this car also on the next when you click build on uh, from the card you need to see some kind of a what stuff do you need to 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 make this uh, step um, to, to finalize this step so it's gonna show you like in different categories that we have like modules for example for the first step we don't need any modules electronic uh, components so this is basically bag number six in our mm, in our kit so maybe we need some icon or something showing you yeah you know what you need to take from this bag and specifically how do these components how do they look like 
because uh, yeah, not everybody is familiar with this. Also, we thought about uh, having some kind of an onboarding uh, with it, just like pictures of the key components where you just like and swipe and see the names of all these components, uh, the, like seeing them from the pictures. Uh, for, for resistors, also with, with some color coding explanations, how do you can see that is uh, 220 ohms resistor. It's not, for example, like 10 uh, K or like ohm resistor. And also wires. I have two differences, like styles of wires, like small, medium, and uh, long. It's pretty much like sizes for clothes, and so like or yeah, typical um, references to something small or medium and or long. And uh, yeah, we wanted to show everything like that you need to go for this step, showing the, the pictures of this, and. Uh, allowing you to put it like not far from you for, for this step just and then go uh, for example for the quick start also you can see some modules and saying like where you can take it like display view layer and uh, backers like four or five and maybe for example like for example for module like display you need to uh, make a sub assembly a small assembly of this module itself putting like the screen from bag number four Maybe it should be some reference uh, showing like your step one, two, three, like a picture or some video showing you like how you can bring it all together. Uh, because we have it with this video on our YouTube, maybe we just need to link it here. So how to make a display module click and you see like in a pop-up screen, like how it can be done. And uh, yeah, also you see like the components that it can use, the video controller and maybe also some extra link or like a pop-up or model with the explanation that you need to put a chip inside this module and to like add sticker to it and uh, then this could be this would be ready in this state so basically like all the wires that you would need to for this step also we thought about adding some real life pictures um, because yeah you need to have like the feeling of um, what it's gonna be in order to to to, to be like better like uh, organized for like what it looks like something like this put all these components from this step for example um on the like white background and just a picture of this and so you can like aha uh -huh, yeah this is the long this is the short maybe putting some some coin uh for 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 the scale just to keep the idea like how big it is and the same goes um, then like uh, further so yeah components uh, yeah, sockets that you have and pretty much just here it will be filled with the with the similar contents um, and uh, the last thing um, we thought of um, right now we have more like a zoom out view of the whole board and maybe sometimes you just want to see some pictures like how it was how it became but also uh we first we thought about this kind of uh, uh, isometric uh, uh, projection to show something like with a front angle with some angle and showing like uh, more of looking like a 3d style um, but regarding like rendering all this, it's quite hard. Um, and uh, for example, like and making pictures like this uh, couldn't really help uh, to locate something. So maybe maybe like this isometric uh, kind of uh, projection wouldn't be the, the case. But uh, we thought more about the animations, adding some animations and like arrows showing like where exactly this uh, wire would go on this step, not just statically showing up step by step, but ba basically um, more like a falling wire that goes exactly to some so some place on the board. And also like with this here, like we have arrows, but also maybe like small um, like uh, circles showing exactly points where it would be connected this um, this wire and uh, yeah wire and or component or modules so you just 
see these uh, places and maybe with some tool tips if you just like uh, hover the, the, the connection you're gonna see oh, okay it's A5 or like A4 oh, okay clear and uh, then it just can help you with the debugging also some people asked us about uh, showing the electrical schematics of um, this assembly we have it also in our github but maybe we can integrate it also here like with a link showing like yeah please show me uh, the electrical scheme and it's just gonna show a pop-up uh, and or at least you can highlight what part is assembled right now so it can help you track uh, what is done uh, so more context uh, style schematics maybe uh, for better understanding of uh, what it is so yeah basically it's like the first uh, vision and like our sketches that we had and I would love to hear your feedback uh, and maybe next in the next videos so we can share some prototypes you can like check and uh, um, give your feedback on them and I hope uh, together we can just make the, the best uh, instructions for building computers and uh, I think it's quite fun when like we have guys like of like or six year, years old girls who can assemble it so giving them more instructions more interactive instructions we can help more kids and uh, and adults uh, to build real computer like was in jobs thank you guys and uh, would love to hear from you in the comments bye